friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a totally unedited recording of an intumescent cataract let us observe this surgery after instilling few drops of 5% povidon iodine the ocular surface is thoroughly irrigated with ringolactate or balanced salt solution now this is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratome at around 135 degree and now this is a side port on the right side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away and this is another side port on the left side of the main incision about 25 clock hours away a big air bubble is then injected into the anterior chamber and then trypan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule of this white cataract the dye is applied in such a way that it touches on all parts of the anterior capsule for uniform staining and now the dye is washed out balanced salt solution bss is used to wash the dye out of the anterior chamber and now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is used to fill off the anterior chamber the bss and air bubble is replaced by this visco And now is the time to do capsulorexis. A 26 case bent needle is used in intumescent cataracts to make a puncture and pull it in such a way that it becomes a C flap. And now the C flap is held with a utrita forceps and it is converted into a small rexis. We can call these a uh, mini rexis. And this rexis can bear some resistance as we aspirate some cortex and decrease the intralenticular pressure through this small opening. The since this is a continuous curvilinear capsular rexis, it will resist. Otherwise, if it is a can opener opening it can extend to periphery and as some cortical lens matter is aspirated the intralenticular pressure decreases drastically and visco is again injected into the anterior chamber a vana scissor is taken a small cart tangential cart is made at around 8 o'clock utrita forceps is used again to enlarge this rexis into an adequate size stone at this time there is no tendency of the capsule to run to periphery because the intra lenticular pressure has been drastically reduced CCC is completed and now the nucleus is to be managed. The FACO machine we are using in this case is Oatly Catarex 3. It's a beautiful machine with pneumatic cutter that provides 1200 cuts per minute. And if we use a cutter with double cutting edges, the 1200 cuts become 2400 cuts. The needle enters into the anterior chamber with bevel down, some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and then the handpiece is turned. Bevel is made up towards the cornea and now is the time to chop the nucleus into some fragments. The tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus. The nucleus is held firmly with 
high vacuum. The vacuum being used is 450 millimeter of mercury. The nucleus is chopped. The flow rate in this case is 45 ml per minute. The nucleus is totally divided into two heminuclei. Each heminucleus is subdivided into two large fragments. And then these free nuclear fragments are emulsified. Ultrasonic energy used in this case is 69 percent. Now we come to the other heminucleus. The heminucleus is chopped into two large fragments and each nuclear fragment is emulsified. The chopper is removed, leakage from the side port stops and the anterior chamber becomes more stable. Otherwise, we can use a blunt chopper or a posterior capsule protector and emulsify the last wedge. And now, this is 23 gauze Simco cannula. It is being used to remove the cortex except a small part of the cortex in the sub incisional area. This 23 gauze Simco is very much user friendly. It gives tremendous control to the surgeon. It is very safe. You can control even uh, a vacuum of 2 millimeter of mercury with this simple instrument. And now the sub incisional cortex is being removed by bimanual irrigation aspiration. We give time to our assistants as we use the Simco to get ready with the bimanual irrigation aspiration. The bimanual the irrigation irrigating proof can be used for hydro polish. And now see how to enlarge the main wound. First use introduce the cutter, the uh, keratome and then the irrigating proof and enlarge the main wound because this is a large cartridge to be touch. And this is a beautiful lens from Apasami Associates. This is Superfob. It has got yellow tinge. And now is the time for final lavage of the anterior chin. This is moxifloxacin. Now the side ports are closed. Corneal stroma on either side of these stab incisions are hydrated. The lips of these stab incisions become thick and the openings get closed. And now is the time for the final lavage of the anterior chamber. This is a totally unedited recording. You are watching each and every step of the surgery. At this time, whatever visco molecules sticks to the corneal endothelium comes out. The bag is also irrigated once or twice. And now is the time to form the anterior chamber very nicely. The Simco is held at the main wound in this way. And the anterior chamber is nicely formed. A cotton taped Janssen bard is taken to check the integrity of the wounds. There should not be any leakage from any side. Now the assistant puts some moxifloxacin drops over the ocular surface 
and the case is concluded thank you very much for your patient hearing hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills at this covid time you are getting only this kind of cataracts white intumescent cataracts so thank you once again for your attention